hi guys welcome back to my channel unique world and in today's video i'm going to be doing a whole lot of different things for um my mother-in-law's um uh, birthday her 59th birthday and um and it's going to be at my home so that gives me enough time to kind of figure out exactly what i want to do but i definitely wanted to make sure that you guys um come along with me and you know check out how i do my decorations i'll be doing balloon garlands and um just little things around the house but you'll see so make sure you stay tuned hey welcome back to my channel unique world and if you are new please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel okay so here's the small area that i'm going to be using to do my balloon garland decorations Okay, you guys, do not do what I did. I'm just not opening up my packages, and I am so glad that this um, stand was a easy setup. So I'll leave all of the items that I use for these um, decorations in the description down below. Thank you, Amazon, for the last minute orders that I've been making. As you can see, here's another order. Um, it has my curtains that I'm going to be using to put on my backdrop. Also, this backdrop will extend longer and at a higher height as well. So I decided to shorten the length of the display stand. And as you can see, there is a lot of wrinkles in this sheet. So um, because I already have this on hand, I have a steamer and I'm just going to steam out the wrinkles that are showing on the sheets, the curtains, because I don't want to see any types of wrinkles and stuff like that um, in my backdrop. Okay, so here's what we're looking like and we can move on to the next step. So what I'll be doing is using copper wire LED lights. Um, a lot of people call them like fairy lights. Um, so I'll be using these and it actually comes with a remote so you can change your settings. And the end of the um, lights is actually a USB. Um, so it's definitely versatile in how you want to plug it in. But yes, so if you guys are interested in these, I'll leave that information in the description down below. So to hang up the string lights, I'll be using safety pins to attach them to the curtains. And I'll just show you a preview of this just like this so you can see what, I, what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay, so first I decided to um, put the string lights in front of the curtains then i was like okay no this is not going to work for me so i decided to just switch it up now i know you guys aren't going to be seeing exactly what i'm doing on this end because they are string lights and it's hard to see so i'm just going to show you the back side of it to show you that basically i use the safety pin to hook it up to the um curtains and um i just attached it just like this so this is just me trying to use the remote to figure out the settings of the string lights and um they have so many options but i'm not doing anything extra i'm just looking for something that's solid and not too flashy because I don't have the double rods display stand, I'm actually using the clips to add a sheer white kern on um, top of um, what I have right now. And it's okay if it doesn't reach the far end because I'm going to be adding balloons to the side um, to cover up um, the end of the um, display. Okay, here's what I have so far. It looks like nothing, but trust the process. Okay, so here's the challenge. This is the balloon garland kit that I'll be using. Normally, what I like to do is get like the colors that I need and get them in three different sizes. 
Um, but because this is short notice, I'm going to be using this balloon garland kit and I'm putting all my trust into this um, kit. So I'm going to make it work. Now that I got my balloons separated by size and color, it is time to go ahead and blow up the balloons. Um, I try not to blow them up too much. Um, it doesn't have to be the same size when you blow them up. Um, but I do like to, um, you know, round them up so that they're not in a pear shape, but in a more of a round shape. So you can see me putting pressure to shape the balloons up in a more circular shape. And I do this with all of my balloons. Not sure if you guys can tell, but um, I don't like the discoloration of the balloons. It's like my dark purple uh, colors are not consistent. Um, so just be aware of that. I mean, I guess it's not too much of a difference, but I can see the difference. And here's a close up of exactly what I'm talking about see the different colors you can definitely tell it right here but um yeah so this is what um you have to deal with when you're getting these um garland kits and here's how i do my clusters i use the five inch balloons to um, make them and they create a more elegant look to your balloon garland you can use a set of two a set of three a set of four um, in this one, I'm using a set of four and I'm just twisting it together. Okay, now that my balloons are blown up, you're going to see me gathering two sets of balloons, same color, and I'm just twisting them around each other and that's going to help me build my garland. So here's what I tied together so far and I'm going to be using these twisties, which are two sisties. And I'm going to put a knot in um, the twisty or 260 around one of the balloons. Then I'm going to grab another set of the bigger clusters. And I'm just going to use that 260 to basically tie around the balloons in different directions. And then I'm going to keep grabbing more balloons to add to the um balloon garland until i basically don't have any space left to add when you run out of room on your 260 you're just gonna add a knot uh to it with another 260 so it combines together and then you're gonna just twist it around uh the new set of balloons and you're just gonna keep going until you get the perfect length that you're looking for Okay, so I'm just going to use my clear string. They call it clear fish line, but I'm going to use it to attach it to my um, display stand. And I know you can't really see it because I didn't have my uh, camera high enough, but um, I'll show you guys what it actually looks like when I attach it on top. Now that I got the top garland part attached, um, to the display I'm just going to basically do the same thing and use my 260 and keep adding balloons um, until it gets to a length that I'm actually looking for
all right so here's what my balloon garland looks like so far i'm just going to grab one of the small uh balloon clusters and i'm going to add it to the balloon garland just to fill in the spaces um and it kind of gives you that unique elegant look Okay, so here's what the balloon garland looks like so far. Now all that I have to do is try to cover up the right side of the balloon stand. Okay, so here's what my setup looks like so far. And the final touches of the balloon garland is right here. And this is what it looks like during the daytime. Um, and I'll show a clip of what it looks like during the evening. So if you guys like what you see, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Unique World. And until next time, peace.